record. All right, cool. So welcome everybody. I wanted to thank you all for being here and coming on to listen to me because I want to do everything I can to help you guys and it shows a lot of commitment that you took time on your Monday night to be here because you guys all have many other obligations and things you could be doing. So thanks for being here. Um, tonight I wanted to kind of just give you guys a system um, on how to simply achieve diamond because we don't like to make things complicated. Um, so I want to make it really easy for you guys. Um, but to start out, I kind of just wanted to go through a few things with you all. And then at the end, I'll kind of give you guys a checklist so that you can start implementing stuff right away. It'll make it really easy for you. Um, so first of all, I just wanted to hang on. I need a drink of water. There's like veggie burger stuck in my throat. I'm sure you guys wanted to know that. Um, so the reason why I wanted to talk to you guys about this is because you are all made for amazingness and God made you for more. Not that you guys suck right now or anything, but God made, made you for more. He made us to do amazing things. We are not made for mediocrity. Again, not that any of you are that way, but this is just kind of one thing that I've been learning lately about myself and, you know, what God his plans for all of us. Um, you know, he really, God made us to do really big things through him. And, you know, when we have his strength on our side, like we literally can do anything. We can do anything that we set our mind to. And this is something that I became, become whatever the correct phrase is, really passionate about talking about these last couple of months. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell a difference in me or not, but after I got back from Tony Robbins, like everything was just changed for me, like in a couple months. I mean, I was the person that when I started this, I didn't believe in myself at all. And then I did some personal development. I did, I got better over time. And then, you know, I believe that God would help me do big things, but I didn't believe in myself. Well, I had made a really big goal for myself last year to become an elite coach. Well, I didn't put the action in and I definitely didn't have the belief in myself and belief is what's the most important thing. So I decided to make it my goal again this year. Well, to be really honest and transparent with you guys, didn't really put the action in for most of the year, definitely didn't believe in myself, went through a lot of rough stuff just emotionally and in my personal life and not that I don't want to tell you guys about it, but we don't have time to talk about it now. So I was just not in a good place. And I went to Tony and I came back and I'm like, I'm going to do everything that I can to make this happen because if I doubt myself, then I'm doubting God's abilities because he made me and he's in me. So if I doubt me, then I'm doubting God. So I got to stop this craziness and start believing in myself. And then I did, like I came back from Tony Robbins and I was like, I'm going to do this thing. Like I don't have very long because I had a deadline. The deadline was like the end of November to be qualified for elite. And I'm like, I'm gonna make this happen no matter what and I did it I did it two weeks early because the team is freaking awesome and because God is awesome so I just wanted to share that with you guys to kind of let you know like what I've been through and let you know where I'm coming from with all of this because you know I really found a really great system on how to make people diamond and how to really make any really big goal happen. That's the point that I was trying to make is that we can do anything we set our mind to. The reason I became elite qualified was because I believe that I could do it. So, you know, when you have belief, when you have faith and you have a plan and you have God on your side, I think that that is the ultimate formula to success. So next I kind of just wanted to talk about um, setting your goal of diamond. Um, the first thing that you want to do with setting your goal, well, let me back up. The reason why setting your goal is so important is because, excuse me, when you set your goal and you make a deadline, actually, never mind, I'm going to get to that in a second. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes. So the first thing that you want to do, number one with goal setting, is you want to figure out why you're going, you want this to be your goal. Why do you want to be a diamond coach? It's going to be different for everybody, but your why, you guys all have heard me talk about it in boot camp, and I talk about it all the time. That's what's going to motivate you to keep going on those days where you don't feel like doing nothing. All you want to do is lay in your bed and watch Netflix. Maybe it's a bad day. Like, you know, maybe you just have the worst day ever. But when your why is so big that it'll make you cry if you don't do it, you're just going to keep going no matter what. 
And, you know, I don't wake up every day and feel motivated, like, especially lately, just to be honest with you guys, since I worked so much in November and October, I freaking exhausted myself and I learned the hard way, but I mean, it was worth it for sure. So now it is harder for me to feel motivated and because of personal stuff, but I just keep going and going because I know why I'm doing this, so I'm never going to stop. So that's the first thing that you want to do is figure out why you're doing this. Um, and it has to be something bigger than I just want to be diamond because of the status or whatever. Like you have to tie a goal and a why to it. Um, so the second thing you want to do is you want to make a deadline for your goal. Um, honestly, you guys, diamond doesn't really take that long. If you focus on just this one thing and just recruit, Chelsea made it happen in the matter of three weeks when she really set her mind to doing it. So you need to make a deadline so that it's going to um, push you to do it. Um, you know, we all kind of set goals for ourselves or New Year's resolutions or whatever um, and just say, oh, yeah, like I'll do it later. I'll get back to it later. We procrastinate. We put it off. Say, you know, maybe someday. I mean, I've done that my whole entire life. That's one thing that made me cry my eyes out at Tony Robbins when we had to like look at, you know, what has held you back and what are you going to get, how's your life going to look like if you continue to do that? I was crying, like bawling because I realized I've always been that procrastinator. So making your deadline is going to push you and it's going to be more likely to happen. And I, I honestly think that if you don't give your goal a deadline, it's not going to happen. So you want to make sure that you set a deadline. I would encourage you all that are on here Today's December 15th. You guys could all honestly make this happen by January. Um, so, you know, think about what your commitments and priorities are. That's something that's really important that you want to think about. I know that the holidays are coming, so that might be a factor into it. Um, but, you know, like I said, it really doesn't take that long. Um, and then the third thing that you want to do with setting your goals is to get some kind of accountability. Um, you definitely want to work with your sponsor. Um, that's something that I offered to all of my coaches when they were going diamond is I basically reached out to them and asked them, what kind of accountability do you want? You know, do you want to talk on zoom every week or would you rather just text me when you have questions and everyone's going to be different? Like, um, Melissa is someone that I talk to on Monday night every single week, but then I have people like Chelsea, she, she's just going to go do it and like work all day long and text message me all day long to ask me questions on how to respond to messages that she gets. So everyone's different. Work with your sponsor on a system that works best for you and also find yourself a push partner if you don't have one already. Um, Finding myself a push partner, it took me like five tries to find a good match for me, but having my push partner, having my mentor with Beachbody, um, and just having that accountability system set up to where they push me if I give excuses, then that, I mean, that was really what propelled me for it because I had all kinds of fear and all kinds of excuses. Like you can ask my mentor, Paul, you know, I would be afraid to call people on the phone. I didn't feel like doing it. Like I had every excuse in the books. So, you know, the reason why, like, as your coach and mentor, sometimes we may give you guys tough love because, hang on, I'm going to mute everyone out real quick just because I hear feedback. Um, so, you know, as a coach and as a mentor, sometimes we have to push you guys out of your comfort zone. Sometimes we might have to say things that are a little uncomfortable for us to say, like tough love, but we only do it because we care. And I want you guys to kind of think about, um, you know, think about a basketball coach, a high school basketball coach that, you know, their team won the state championship. So when that coach was making his basketball players, you know, run 8 million laps or whatever they do in basketball, I'm sure the people on the team did not enjoy it and did not like their coach when they were running so much they were about to throw up. But when they won the championship, they celebrated and loved the coach and meant because he mentored them and he pushed them to be able to go past what they believed they could do because he knew that they could do big things. So I just kind of use that as an example because that's something that I honestly used to be so afraid of. I used to be so afraid to push my coaches, so afraid to put them out their comfort zone. And then I realized I'm a bad mentor if I don't do that because how am I going to you know, call people up to their highest potential and help them achieve that if I don't push them? So that's kind of why accountability is so important. And if myself or your sponsor gets kind of like tough love on you, it's not because we're trying to be a bitch. It's because we love you and we want to help you reach your goals. Um, so I'll just review those things real quick um, with goal setting. Number one, figure out your why. 
Number two, make a deadline. And then number three, set up an accountability system. Um, and I will open it for questions at the end. I actually only have a couple of things left. I know I talk really fast, so you guys may want me to repeat myself, but um, I will leave that for the end. So right now what I wanted to do is kind of just go through a daily to-do list of what you want to do, um, excuse me, as you're going for diamond. So again, like I said earlier, if you guys are really going for diamond, excuse me, and you really want to make this happen, I highly encourage you to not host a challenge group while you're trying to do this. I would focus on just recruiting for a very short period of time. When I, um, you know, was going for being elite, that's all I did. I told everybody, I'm like, I'm not going to do a challenge group this month. It's just, I love challenge groups, but it was just something extra that was going to distract me from reaching my goal. So you want to kind of, you know, clear off all of their priorities. I mean, I'm not saying to not have a life, but you want to just be really, really focused on this one goal, because if you do that for a very short period of time, you'll be able to reach it very quickly. So I would encourage you guys to um, not do a challenge group while you're trying to do this and just focus on recruiting. Um, so these are the three things that you're going to do to become diamond. It's really, really simple. Number one, you're going to make your list of people. Now, I want you guys to go above and beyond your dream team list. You know, the dream, your dream team is the people that you would just love it if they join your team. Well, I want you to make a list of every single person that you know, if you have not already. Make your comprehensive contact list. That's something that I have done, and every day that I'm working, I go through and I invite at least five people on there, and I exit off next to their name when I invite them. And what Chelsea did that made her go diamond so quickly is she sent out an indirect invite, which I'm going to talk about in a second. She sent it out to like 63 people or 83 people. I can't remember the exact number, but it's a numbers game because the more people you invite, the more likely you're going to get people to say yes. Um, go for the no. Like, don't worry if people tell you no, just go for the no. Um, so make your list. That's the first step. Um, number two, send out an indirect invite. You guys, all that are all on here should already know what the indirect invite is, but if you don't, it's in the Dropbox. It's in the sharing the business opportunity folder. Um, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but I can send it to Trisha so that she can post it to you guys so that you have the correct one because there's a couple in there. But um, I won't go into complete detail about explaining that, but basically just send that out to as many people as you can. Um, the system that worked for Chelsea was inviting someone to watch the video that I made about how to design your life. It's like an eight, nine minute video. Um, you know, we tried inviting people to the glance group and I think the glance group is still a great resource, but if you want to reach a goal and you have a deadline, honestly, glance group is not going to be the quickest way to do it. So, um, I'll explain more in a second, but that's the system that Chelsea and I used was she sent out the video. Once they responded, she would ask them, you know, if she thought they would be a good coach, she says, you know, is that something you would consider doing yourself or do you know of someone who would like to earn part-time income and full-time hours that I could reach out to and help? And the reason why we went with the indirect invite over the direct is because if you think about it, people are going to like 99.9% .9 say yes when you send out an indirect invite. If you give them a compliment and ask them for a favor, they're going to watch the video for you. No one has ever told anybody no that has sent this out, not that I'm aware of at least. Um, but if you send out an, a direct invite where you're telling someone, hey, you make a really good coach and they have no idea what it is, they're probably gonna go on the defense and be like, oh no, like I don't have time for that, whatever, and they'll never see the video. So that's the reasoning behind using the indirect invite. It works really, really well, and there's specific details in that document that I'll send you guys that go through what you should say back to people and how to go forward. So that's the second thing. And then the third thing is to do three ways with your sponsor to close those people that you're talking to. So um, what Chelsea and I did when she went diamond in three weeks is after she sent the video and they either said they were interested or they connected her with someone that was, she would just say to that person like, hey, like I'd love to get you on the phone with my mentor talk more about this. She's been doing this a lot longer so she can answer all your questions. You know, how's Thursday at 5 p.m. work for you? You know, try to be specific as you can, like suggesting a time and maybe say, you know, is Thursday at 5 better or Friday at noon? And just set up an appointment that way. And what we did is basically 
Chelsea and I would get on the phone with a person and, you know, I would form them really quick, try to get to know a little bit about them personally. And then I would ask them if they had questions first that I could answer. Um, and then I would go through the closing questions that is also in our Dropbox. And I can send you guys the link for that too. It's what Eric Worre teaches. And I mean, it freaking works, guys. Like I've never had anyone tell me no once I started using these things. Not all of them sign up right away, but every single person has said yes and they eventually sign up. So that's all we did is we got the person on the phone. I did all the talking and Chelsea just kind of sat back. So, you know, set those three ways up with your sponsor so that they can close the people for you. This is the quickest absolute way to do it. And make sure also, um, you know, with the people that you're inviting that you follow up with them. That's one thing that's super important. Um, try to be very specific when you send out the video to them about a time that they will have watched it by, you know, so send them the video and say, so I would love to follow up with you when you're done. Will you have watched it for sure by 5 p.m. tomorrow? Because if you don't say that and you don't set up a time to follow up, you're going to run around in circles and chase them forever and ever and ever asking them if they watch the video. Believe me, I did it the wrong way. I learned. So you don't want to do that. So be very specific excuse me, follow up with them, even if they aren't responding to you or, um, you know, they say that they're going to watch the video and they haven't, just follow up. Focus on being their friend, focus on the relationship, but follow up, literally. I have this list of people, like I narrowed down all of my coach prospects, it looks like a hot mess, and I like prioritized it by like how they were interested, like high level of interest, medium, et cetera, et cetera. And when I was going for elite, I went on like operation BFF and like was all up in those people's business almost every single day, just talking to them and being their friend. So that's all you got to do is just make sure that you follow up. So just real quick to go through the three things. This is your daily to-do list to reach diamond real quick. Number one, make your list. Number two, send out the indirect invite. Number three, do three ways with your sponsor to close. And with all of that, make sure that you're following up with the people you've invited and your prospects. Um, I just thought of something else though. And also make sure that you keep your sponsor in the loop with their responses. And it's not because we don't believe in you guys or think that you don't know what you're doing, but that is something like my sponsor, Lindsay, she and I did this when I started. It's how I learned how to do this. Chelsea would send me messages all the time and say, Hey girl, how do I respond to this? Um, I'm not sure what to say. Like, you know, if the people that you're talking to have a question, you're not sure how to answer it. Um, just do that because we don't, again, we don't not believe in you guys, but we've been doing this a little bit longer and we've had a lot more practice answering all of those crazy questions that people give us. So just make sure you keep us in the loop and don't hesitate to ask us for your help if you need it with responses. So that was kind of it. I have a quick homework assignment of what you guys can do to implement all of this. Um, but I did want to open it up and see if anyone had questions. Um, so if you do, just type in the chat box and I'll unmute you because if everyone's unmuted, the feedback gets really bad. I feel like I'm out of breath now. Sometimes I talk so fast. So you guys are probably like, what the heck did she just say? I don't even know what she said. Okay. Well, if, any, if anyone, I can't talk. If no one has questions, now I'm going to put you guys on the spot. And I'm going to call on Jackie. And Jackie, I want to know your goal for Diamond and your why and what your deadline is going to be. So I'm going to unmute you. Okay. My goal is to be Diamond um, by the end of the second week of January. I have a lot of people I've been talking to mm -hmm. and that I've known for a while. And they're all telling me I, they have to wait till after Christmas mm -hmm. just because of money issues or their first time moms and they're, this is the first Christmas and stuff. So I really think I, I've got a lot of people that I've been talking to for weeks and since I started. And I really think I can close those after Christmas. So I think I won't have any issues. Yeah. This is a hard, sorry, I have a strawberry in my mouth. This is a hard time of the year because of that. But there's a couple of things that I've kind of said to people that I can send you. I have it saved in a Word document. And maybe that'll help. And it's not meant to like push people. Like I just basically tell them, you know, I totally understand how you feel. I say this because I care about you, but if you're in that situation, then you owe it to yourself to start now so that you can 
earn money for the holidays now. You know, there's a strategy that's in our boot camp training that if you implement it, you know, this doesn't happen for everybody, but you could earn up to $300 in a day if you implement it. Um, so that's kind of what I've been saying to people. And then they're like, Oh, what do you mean? Tell me more. Okay. But I continue what it says verbatim. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. What is your why for diamond? My why has changed some. I am um, first. It was just, I wanted to help as many people as I could. And I wanted to, uh, have extra money. Mm -hmm. Now I really want to grow a business and be financially stable because I'm not sure where my job, my full-time job is going right now. So I, I feel like I really want to set myself up and make sure that I'm okay. Yeah. And that my family is okay. I love it. And your why will change many more times. Like when I started this, I didn't even think I would make money because I'm like, I don't do sales. Ew, gross. I just want to help people. And then when I saw that people were like quitting their jobs, I'm like, I want to quit my job. And then I quit my job. So it, it still changes, you know? Yeah. I, it's changed two or three times already. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You're going to do it. Thanks for sharing, girl. I'm going to call on someone else okay. after I get untwisted from my freaking, what are these things called? Headphones. Who else is on here? So Lisa's on here. Lisa, I know you're on mute, but can I unmute you and put you on the spot to share? Just type in the chat box if it's okay. I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable or weird. I'm going to unmute you real quick, Trisha. Who's on the phone again? Is it Becky and Becky was on the phone, and I don't know who else joined us. Let me just unmute everyone for a second. Who else is on the phone besides Becky? Oh, I just, let me mute Lisa back. No worries, Lisa. Is someone else on the phone besides Becky? This is Becky. There's a 302 area code and a 678. Isn't 678 Georgia? Tanya? Oh, uh, maybe it is her. Yeah. Yeah, it's me. Oh, hey, girl. Do you hey. want to share your why? And your, your diamond deadline? Um, uh, I'm not really sure I'm ready to make one yet. That's okay. No worries. Becky's already diamond, so <laughs> I would ask her. Becky, what's yeah, your next she's rocking it. I think she said she might not be able to talk. She might have herself muted. I'm going to mute everyone back real quick. Did any of you guys have questions about anything that I went through? Or do you want me to like review any of it? You can just type in the chat box. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Well, I will give you guys a quick homework assignment that you can do. Of course, you know, the first thing I don't really have to say this, but, um, you know, make sure that you do the things that I said on the daily checklist. Hang on, Lisa said something. What are some of the closing questions you use? It's all in a script in the Dropbox. It's super easy, and I will make sure that Trisha sends it to you guys after we get off of here, along with the indirect invite. But I do encourage you guys to practice those closing questions. I didn't used to know what they were. I would have to have it open on my computer. And, you know, if you have to read it to people, just be honest and be like, I'm still new to this, but I have these questions that I want to ask you, not because I'm trying to read a script, but this job is so easy that I can just read these questions and make it easy for us and just say to them, you know, that I want to help you reach all your goals. So I want to make you, or I want to answer that, uh, ask these questions. That's what I always say to people. But yeah, practice them as much as you can. That's how you get better at them. Like I have them memorized now where I could just be like, boom, but it's only because I practice it so much the last couple months. Um, all right. So homework. Number one, work with your sponsor on your goal and your list um, and send it to them, your sponsor, by a week from today. So the 22nd. Um, that way you guys can kind of come together and make a game plan. Um, that way it's more clear and you know exactly where to go. Um, excuse me. You'll stay better organized whenever you have your list out there. Whenever you have your game plan with your sponsor, you'll be less stressed out because you'll know exactly what to do um, and you'll be more likely to achieve your goal. So make sure that you do that. <laughs> excuse me. Sorry, guys. And then um, the second thing, this is the only other thing, is if you have not watched The Secret, you have got to go watch The Secret. You can look it up on YouTube. I watched it on there. I think it's like a little over an hour. 
and also either look up the audio or purchase the book Think and Grow Rich. You guys, those are the two things that once I listened to those, I did the audio of Think and Grow Rich, I was like, I will never have a negative thought again in my life. Like I was scared to think negative because what we say out loud and what we believe in our heads, that's what our life turns into. So now I just have the freaking poop scared out of me that like I will just force myself to think positive no matter what. I mean, those books are game changers, you guys. And another thing that I did is um, I wrote out my goal. Um, they will discuss this in Think and Grow Rich, but I wrote it out in present tense and it said, I am an elite coach. And I made it very specific. I put on there when I wanted to do it by and I put that dang thing on my mirror in my bathroom because I'm in there 50 million times a day peeing. So every time I went in there, I would read it. As soon as I woke up in the morning, I would say it out loud. I am an elite coach. I am an elite coach. I would do it while I was running. People probably thought I was insane, but I would be out there running, just chanting it. I'm elite. I'm elite. I'm elite. And then I would do it before I went to bed. Um, you know, when you speak it out loud, it's called like affirmations. And when you do that in present tense and keep it in front of you all the time, there's this whole explanation behind why it works and think and grow rich. But basically something about your subconscious and whatever conscious mind, I don't know how to explain it, but it's going to attract in everything that you need to make that goal happen. Um, and it works, it works, it works, it works. So you got to do that. Watch the secret and think and grow rich. And then just a closing quote. This was the same one that was on the team call last week. So if you've already heard it, um, sorry, but I really like this quote. Um, how we handle our fears will determine where we go with the rest of our lives by Judy Bloom. And I just like that quote because I used to be scared to talk to people about the coaching opportunity. And when I got past that fear, like everything just really changed for me. And I know that this kind of stuff can be a scary thing. You know, it's new and, um, you know, you might be worried about the questions people are going to ask you or what people are going to think and all that, but just don't think about that stuff. Do your affirmations. Just do the actions that it takes and you guys will all do it and it's going to be awesome and I believe in all of you guys. Trisha, did you want to add anything and I'll unmute you real quick. I kind of just took on over. <laughs> and we still have time. Well, that's fine. Um, I mean, I would just kind of reiterate what most of what you said there. Um, I think what I decided toward the end of October to get serious about going diamond and went diamond by the 13th um, mm -hmm. and not setting a goal date doesn't work and Jessica tried and tried and tried to get me to put a date on things and I would know I'm not putting dates because it'll come and go um, she kind of dropped the 13th on me for diamond um, I didn't really choose the date <laughs> it got chosen and um, but once the date was there and I wanted it it became my focal point and it and I had I mean, Jessica was up here I had right at my desk I am diamond and anytime I got frustrated, I looked at that. It was a constant reminder. This is what I am. This is what I'm doing. And this is why I'm sitting here doing it. So uh, it really does work. Now it says something totally different here toward my goal for 2015. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, if you guys don't already have a dream board, I have one right here in front of me. Oh, can you guys see it? Yeah, I made it with Melanie when she was here in town visiting. We just took a bunch of magazines and went through the magazines and picked out what was in there. But yeah, if when you put it in front of yourself, it really drives you forward and motivates you. And, you know, one thing that I learned about goal setting, because I used to actually not set dates either, because I would be like, well, then I'll just be disappointed and depressed if I don't do it. But then I just realized I'm like, well, even if I don't do it, I'm not going to tell myself that I'm not going to do it. Honestly, when I was going after Elite, I had no flipping idea how it was going to happen. I literally didn't like even Lindsay was like, it's going to be hard for you to do this. And I'm like, I don't care. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm just going to trick myself and I'm going to do it. I just really lost my train of thought. Um, oh, with the whole <laughs> deadline thing. Um, I used to be afraid because I would, oh, what if I disappoint myself? But even if you don't do it by the week that you want to do it, you'll still be that much closer. So don't let it disappoint you. I mean, once you guys are past diamond and you, if you decide you want to become an elite coach, they give you a deadline. So you know, you kind of have no other choice, but you have plenty of time ahead or in advance to prepare for that. So just don't, don't be disappointed if you don't get it in the exact week that you want to, you will be 
let's not even say one step closer. You'll be 5 million steps closer and then you'll just do it the next week and it'll be awesome. Yeah, that was, I'm reading, um, uh, the power of self-discipline by uh, Brian Tracy right now. And that's one of the things they talk about in there is that all goals are achievable. There's no such thing as not making your goal. Your deadline might change, but the goal is still there. It's still achievable. Um, and that's, that's been huge. And just in the goals that I'm setting and knowing, yeah, I, it, some of them may happen as I have them planned. Some of them, Life gets in the way and they get backed up a little bit. And that's okay too. The goal, you're, you're that much closer. Exactly. I love it. That sounds like a good book too. Brian Tracy's good. Love it. Cool. Well, if you don't have anything else, Trisha, and you guys don't have any other questions, then I will let you guys go because we have the team call in 20 minutes. So anyone have anything else? No? Okay. Well, I'll take time before the team call to pee and eat something else so that you guys don't have to see me doing that on the team call. <laughs> but thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for sharing. And I believe in all of you guys so much. And I know Trisha does too. And I love each and every one of you so much. And I'm thankful for you guys every day. Y'all are my family. Y'all are awesome. And I know you'll all be bright, shiny diamonds in no time. And um, please don't ever hesitate to Reach out to me if you need my help too. I think you guys might know this by now, but if you need me quickest, text me. Um, so I'm always here to help you guys if you need it. And I'll see you guys at 8 o'clock if you're going to be on the team call. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks, Jess. You're welcome. Bye.